Just give me a baby bottle pop and suck my dick. Come on, what are we doing here, all right? <laughs> This just in tour dates. Ba -na -na, da -na -na. This is your boy Trevor Wallace. Yo, this weekend I'm gonna be in Charlotte, North Carolina. North Carolina. Born Let's fucking go, up. dude. It's uh, you know, five shows at the comedy zone this weekend. It's a big ass club, so let's pack that shit out, dude. Then we're gonna be in Nashville January 6th through 9th. And we just added Phoenix, Arizona, January Phoenix, Phoenix. 14th and 15th, January 14, 15, Phoenix. Uh, and then the the tour, the official tour, Are You That Guy tour starts January 28th in New Orleans. And that weekend, we're also going to Tampa, Florida, January 29th. And then we're wrapping that weekend up in Orlando, Florida, January 30th. And then there's like 28 other cities with damn near almost every state you can think of. So go to TrevorWallsComedy.com to check out the other 26 cities. I'm not going to waste you guys time uh, listing all of them. But I'd love to see you there. TrevorWallsComedy.com. Are You That Guy tour starting January 28th. Bam, bam, bam. Hey, it's me, Michael Blaustein. I'm on tour as well. Michael Blaustein, yelling on stage, yelling about feet, yelling about cum. Where am I going to be? I'll tell you. Sacramento, January 23rd. Philadelphia, February 3rd. New York City, February 5th. Gramercy Theater, first theater ever done. Please come out. Boston, we're going to be February 6th. And new date, new date, new date. San Jose, February 24th. Come out. Where to get tickets? Blaucomedy.com. Gabe, hit him with the splat. Are we in? So, wait, so I have a question. What? Is it, so there's stepdad. What is, is it step grandfather? Can you have a step grandfather? Step papa. Step, step papa? papa. <laughs> I'll, I'll, wow. Dude, that should have been the modern day Biggie song right there. I love it when you call me step papa. Dude, step papa. What is it? Can you go higher than stepdad? Your stepdad, stepmom. What's step grandma? Can you have a step grandma? Twenty three of me just explodes when you type that in. You could fuck a step grandma, dude. I'm gonna have my girl start calling me step papa. What? Holy <laughs> so shit! This is that's an not... evolution from sir. Yeah. Is she still on her fucking sirs? Dude, I my balls are drained because of the sir. I'm a Whoa. little sleep, dude. I'm, I think I, sir was a Patreon. Was just, it? Yeah, it was a Patreon episode. Okay. Sir was a Patreon episode. Well, yeah. Go to patreon.com backslash Civ socks. Great plug. There it is, Gabe. That's what we have here. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, can we say it here? Well, preface. Yeah. Michael's girlfriend uh, called him sir in bed. Yeah. Yeah. Cause like a fucking Chick-fil-A assistant manager. Here you go, <laughs> sir. No. Maybe. Still hot. Yeah. This is... This, it doesn't matter. She doesn't listen. Step sir. Step sir is hot. Step sir. Almost... Mm, that sounds like sister. You can, I think, I, you can definitely have a step grandfather. Where does a step I, come from? I don't know. Well, why is that the term? Who invented is chairs? <laughs> As a tired motherfucker. Do you know what I mean? Like everyone was just standing around. They're like, I'm so sleepy. They're like, that's your dad. He's like, oh no, that's my stepdad. Because he's stepping in. That, well, okay. That has no, to be no, what no. it is. I think that's what it is. It's not. No? No, it's the origin is a uh, German stiop, which Fuck. means orphan. How about bench dad? Orphan. I like that better. You're off the bench. Oh, I like that. Glenn off the bench. Bench dad? That's what I would go by. Bench dad? You know how people are like, uh, they come up with like different words. So I'm trying to think. They Well, they spin it. They're like, I'm not. What am I trying to say here? Yeah, you're like, well, my, my mom does. She's like, I'm not a grandmother. And she has this like Irish version of grandmother. Right. Is that what you're saying? Kind. Yeah. It's, okay. it's like when somebody's like, I'm not happy. I'm erotic. And that's not it. But like, I'm uh, trying to say like where, where somebody like yeah, I'm, spins it. I'm not old. I'm geriatric. Right. What's this? You always, <laughs> what, no, I don't know what geriatric means. Uh, <laughs> but you, you always see grandmas with that shirt. It's like, I'm not old. I'm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah I'm not old. I I'm just dis lived a I'm bunch. distinguished. Yeah. Distinguished. But that's what that's what it sounds like a stepdad would say. He's like, I'm not a stepdad. I'm a bench dad. Oh, yeah. 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 He's like just trying to a brand A bench it, baddie. Definitely. Whoa. So can you have a step grandpa? I'm trying to be a basketball coach. I want to be a... That's very, very doable. <laughs> no. You have to you reason. have to have way more polos than you already have. Yeah. But not like... They have to be like the, the Nike ones. Yeah. Athletic gear. I just feel like it's so hot to think about. And you have too of, good of a hairline to coach basketball. I, yeah. Well, I, some, I think uh, I think if you wear a whistle, everything changes. I think if That's you put referee. on a whistle, it, you just have, oh, you're right. No, but coaches have it in, in yeah. uh, practice. But what I'm saying, where I was going, why they want to be a coach, because you were talking about bench uh, dads. I think being a coach and like fucking one of your 
uh, players' moms. Okay, you just huh. scared me for a second. Oh, I, I had to go. I had going. to go fast. <laughs> You had to talk real fast in the sentence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's um, hot. She's like, I'm gonna pick, I'm gonna pick Timmy up. Do you wanna come to dinner? It, I feel like that's hot. Fuck. That's hot and all until you get a mom who starts yelling at you. It's like, my son has been starting for the past four games yeah. and he put up six points. Okay. So what he was three for nineteen from the field, and you're gonna bench him this game? I sat behind that mom somewhat recently. We were filming at Santa Monica College. Yeah. In the bleachers, and there was a, a game going on, and this mom was going off. I don't know who she was talking to, either the husband or her fucking bestie Darlene, but she was she was going off. She's like, and this is the first time he's not starting, and if he's not in within the next couple of minutes, we're going to have a talk with the coach. But it's like, really? you don't know anything about sports. Also, your son sucks. Like, here's the thing. If your son was good, right. he would be playing. Yeah. The coach is not stupid. Your son sucks. Right. He, he has he has ADHD. He picks fucking sunflowers when he should be playing basketball. Mm -hmm. This kid, this kid sucks. But but the mom she was heated. But heated. heated in like a hot way. That's that's why I want to go. I want I want fucking Karen to come up to me when I have a coach. I have the fucking whistle and she comes up to me. She goes, "Listen, my son mm -hmm. Bradley. He needs to play more. He he works hard and he has a good heart and blah blah blah." And I'm like, and I want to be like, well, what are you gonna do? To have him play more. She goes, what do you mean? And I'm like, I got a cock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dude, that's crazy. If the if the mom was like, I'll suck your dick if you put in my my son that in exists. the third quarter. But by you the think? millions. Yes. You think? Dude. Yeah, because you know what's weird if we're like off funny for a second? In like, I feel like there's this weird like social hierarchy with like if you're like if your kids are doing well, you feel like you're looked you, at yeah. as the mom, as like a good mom. Because if your your kid is a shitty kid on the team, the other parents are like, Ugh. yeah, oh, you have a dud. Yeah, Ronald's kid is not really pulling his weight over yeah. there. Yikes. Yeah, you hit him with the Buick when he was three years old. And now he sucks. Yeah, it's your fault. That is true. So if your son's like gets good grades or daughter or whatever yeah. gets good grades and good at sports, you're like, oh, look, I did well. Uh huh. So yeah, so I think there are fucking moms and dads out there that would suck a mean cockiness to to get some playing time wow for sure damn <clears throat> yeah that's pretty cool it is it is pretty cool it is pretty cool dude i'm literally having just flashbacks of like elementary school basketball so fun dude i was so bad at it i would just take the wonkiest three pointers i would take just from downtown. Do we have any recordings of you playing basketball? I was just, I just there was has that. to be somewhere. Yeah. Dude, I would, there has to be. I would pay. <laughs> oh my god! One, probably one of the worst jumpers Camrio <laughs> has ever seen. Dude, do you, do you understand? We have to get a fucking video of you playing basketball. As a kid. Dude, I would play basketball like a lagged 2K player. Like I would jump <laughs> then shoot. Like it didn't make sense. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. Dude, I, I'm sure I could find it. You airballed a lot, huh? Yo, oh, yeah. Yeah. You ever hit the back of the backboard? <laughs> oh, my God. Did you even want to play basketball, or they just made you play? Uh, like 50-50. I had friends playing, so I was like, all right, I'm down. But uh, just so much hope in the three-pointers. Me in the paint? Never. Downtown. All, all the time. I mean, I just played on, what is it, wing? Is that a position? That's uh, okay. Thing? Yeah, I was, I was that guy. Coaches always just try to give me a... Like, away from everything. When I played football in sixth grade for one year, they made me a wide receiver, but they only ever ran the ball. But I was like, <laughs> I was like, dude, wide receivers get puss. Fuck they yeah. Do. Put me in. They do. And they would run the ball to this kid, Mason Luna. He was our guy. He ran it every single time. Fucking, he was a beast. He would sprint the shit every time. He's great. And then they threw me the ball once. <laughs> and I was like, oh, guys, this isn't in, this isn't in the syllabus. Don't throw this to me. <laughs> and uh, I, I did not catch the ball. Was wide it even, open. Was it even wide close? open. Oh, you're wide open. Uh, it was like one of those where I was like, I was running and then I see the ball in the air and I was like, oh, oh, oh no, no, no. It, I, I, had I like dove for it, I probably could have got it. But it was one of those where the coach is like, what the fuck? And I was like, oh, I thought it was out of bounds. You know, just like one of the, dude, I'm just not. <laughs> the sun. The sun. It was a night game. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, man. And But it wasn't until like later on in life I realized I was like, that was the coach being like, eh, yeah, you fuck off. And yeah. my parents were probably like sitting in the stands like, there he goes. Well, yeah. I mean, also, like, if I was, would you let your kids play football? Sure. Really? Yeah. I don't think I'm going to let my kids play football, man. And they're going to really want to because I'm going to tell them. No. Yeah. Brain so. Yeah, yeah. Unless they, like, they're, they're having, like, weird kind of uh, upgrade technology with helmets and shit. I'd imagine so they that. would. 
Yeah, but I mean, it, it's a it's a super dangerous thing, especially for like a brain that's like developing. Yeah, and you're like just that is rocked. wild at like sixth grade. Yeah, yeah, and, and there's and there's a a weird developmental thing, right? When you're like you have had those like kids that are just like gigantic. Yeah, and you're, you're like you're not. You're yeah. there's no way you're eleven. Yeah, and it's like I was always tiny, and they had these kids that were just like massive that mm -hmm. would play like football as well. It's like I'm not. No, my kids aren't playing. Yeah, basketball rolling on cigarettes in the corner you're like shane what the hell's going on yeah, it's got sound do you ever have uh kids selling like drugs early like elementary mm, school drugs not that i told you about the kid that sold candy he was he was God. uh he was the first gary v he was he was he must flipping. own bitcoin i don't know what that guy's up to i'd really like to find out every time i think about bitcoin i get fucking upset are you in i, I mean but i i get upset man because like i just wish i had financial power when i was like 20. When Bitcoin was like first percolating, when it was like 14 cents. And right. I wish someone was like, hey man, listen, take this, take this thousand dollars. Take this coin. Take this and just, because think about that. Right, but like. When Bitcoin was a dollar. But look, it wouldn't work. It could be worse because right now there's a guy in London. I saw this headline today and he's excavating an entire landfill to try to find a hard drive that he threw away that has $350 million worth of Bitcoin on it. He threw it away. He threw it away because it wasn't, you know. Fucking, oh, I have this Bitcoin thing. Fuck it, it's also, not going to be worth anything. Also, if a guy in 2010 came up to you on the street and was like, keep this coin, would you actually do it? Or you'd be like, this is an insane person. Here, here's the problem. The problem is, in 2010, did you say 2010? Sure. 2010, I didn't have any disposable income. So for someone to tell me like, hey, take this thousand dollars and buy Bitcoin, I tell you, shut the fuck up. I don't have like this is my rent right, but, money. But if somebody just gave you, oh, gave me. I, I mean, you can't give a physical coin. But it, but if somebody's <laughs> trying to trade you, be like, hey man, I'll pay you for this show tonight with one Bitcoin. Oh, oh, right, right, You're right. Like, what? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's true. Just give that's me true. a baby bottle pop and suck my dick. Come on, what are we doing here? All right. <laughs> so just run it up. God damn. Too legit to quip. Hold on, <laughs> that's pretty good, dude. Pretty, pretty good. Pretty. You know what else is pretty good? What? Quip toothbrushes, ladies and gentlemen. New sponsor, dude. But we've been using it for a while, buddy. I've been using a Quip toothbrush legit for two years. Okay, mm -hmm. it's sleek, it's stylish, yeah. and let me tell you something. You ever like brush your teeth and you're like, I wonder if this is the appropriate amount of time to have my chompers clean. I used to. Yes, and now we'll quit because every single, it gives a 30 second kind of vibration as yeah, you're cleaning. Yeah, it's like a pulse buzz, a stop. Yep. It's like zzz, mm, And then let you know that you switch sides. Switch up sides. positions, Body. doggy missionary. So what's nice about it, huh. not only that, it's sleek, it flows with everything, and yep. you don't need to plug it in or anything. There's no, no wires, no clunky <clears throat> charges, it's just a boom, boom, ready to go. And let me tell you something, the subscription, which I've been using even before this god darn ad, is incredible, bro, because you know, you're like, oh, that but, I, but I have to have a fucking battery, blah, blah, blah. They send it all to you at a timely manner. Also, real quick, you know what Quip does that's incredible? Is they send you a new head of a toothbrush when you need it. Because, mm -hmm. dude, when I was in college, my toothbrush would literally look like this. It looked like a fucking folding chair all the way down because mm -hmm. I didn't know when to goddamn switch it out. The yeah, heads. I still don't. Yeah, but with Quip, they send it to you in a timely manner with a battery, so mm -hmm. you never have to worry about doing any of that shit, dude. It's incredible. Um, great. Yeah, no, they're awesome for traveling, and uh, I just really like it. This is the first time I held a toothbrush and felt cool about it. All the other ones are too much. There's like all these weird colors and these weird grips. Yeah. This is just like, it just made me realize you don't need all that bullshit. Dude, also, have you like used another toothbrush, another electric one? It's too powerful. Yeah. It's I don't I don't no, want to jack one, camera my top my chompers. No, this one's perfect. It's the right amount of vibrate. Uh, we almost use it as a vibrator. Remember uh, that story? Remember that story. <laughs> but guys, it's really cool. It's sleek. Holidays are coming up. It's great for traveling. It looks dope on the counter. And look, you've already fucking swagged out here with Manscaped, Let's Hawthorne. Go. The last thing you're missing is some quips. So, dude, we're gonna hook you guys up right Yo. now. If you guys go to getquip.com backslash stiff socks right now on top of their holiday savings top well which peace, you might get head. minty because of clean breath uh, you will get your first refill free that's free free refills and 40 percent off bundles go to getquip.com slash stiff socks that's getquip g-e-t-q-u-i-p.com slash stiff socks quip the good habits company god damn uh, yeah, dude, ten, what was 10,000 Bitcoin for a fucking pizza pizza or a piece of pizza yeah, for a pizza yeah. or some shit like that? Yeah. That's probably the, the most iconic, you know, tragedy story, there, I think, with all that. There's a the UK one, but there's another one that like some dude had like, I think, 250 million Bitcoin. He was like paying everyone to just because he has the drive. He just doesn't know or he has a wallet. I'm sorry. He doesn't know the password. 
So they, like, I think they estimate that something like I, I'm going to butcher the number, but something like five or ten percent of all bitcoins that have been created is lost forever. Because wow. it's just like so many people were doing it when it was just like a fun little hobby back in the day, and they didn't think it was going to turn into anything. So they just lost the drives or threw them away. I mean, what are you doing? That's so weird. What are you doing? If someone walks up to you and says, hey, man, you know that drive that you, that you had in seventh grade, the, the fucking wallet you had in seventh grade when someone was like, gave you bar mitzvah money and Bitcoin, you're like, oh, it's so funny, blah, blah, blah. Well, those 10,000 coins are now worth $350 million. And do you know the password? You're you fine. No. It. You're f so there's no like helpline. Hey, this is me. Verify. Hello. Yeah. Hi. No, that's Nothing? the problem. No, there's if you don't know the password, goodbye Bitcoin. Like there's you can't break. Like I think the dude gave it to like hackers and shit to try to get. You can't even hackers. No, because no it's luck. Not, because it's not like three. It's not like wow. three digits. It's like it's, it's like, like thirty two like, or sixty four. Yeah, it's something, or something like you can't. Like, yeah. It's like, oh my God. Yeah. The possibility of 32 digits is just, it's. Yeah. I'm, I'm cool. I'm cool not doing all that. But what I'm saying is, if, if the, all of a sudden. Oh, 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 oh Like right. you're like, that bit, bar mitzvah money I gave you, I gave you 7,000 Bitcoin. It's now worth yeah, $40 million. Yeah. I'm spending dollars. every day of my waking moment trying to figure out how to get, to get that password. Back. I'm going to kill myself. Because, uh, like, what, 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 what do you, what, let me, let me tell you something. You're just going to walk around life with your regular, stupid life. You work at fucking David's Bridal and you know that you have $400 million just in your pocket and you can't get to it. Every, I wouldn't sleep I mean, one I, ounce. I would give it a, a solid year's run to try and get it. Then after that, you're like, all right. Yeah, I guess, I guess it's either like kill yourself or just like, just come to a consensus. Or like, you I just can't get yell about it at a bar and you're like, I used to own 400 Bitcoin. Well, dude. He talks about it every day. You, uh, oh yeah. I, I'm not gonna say the. I'm not gonna say these comics that we're we're gonna know who they are. But those comics that like used to have TV shows. Yeah. And nothing else happened, which is very sad. That all and they nothing talk else happened. It's all they talk. They, they right. Al Bundy their entire life with all he talks about. What he had four touch. Whatever the fuck the TV show was. But like that's all they talk about. Yeah. And you're like, buddy. That's their buddy. life. That's like well, this, this guy's getting the Bitcoin out. That's just that's everything he does is around that. So it's like, it's going to be hard for him to be like, what's your favorite ice cream? He's like, strawberry. Where's my fucking Bitcoin? I know, I know, I know. I wonder like if people are like, listen, man, they're going to come up with technology that are going to allow you to figure, like, just, just yeah. relax. As long as, yeah, there has to be somewhere, somewhere down the line where it's like, you can prove that this is your account, this and that, get in, get out. Yeah. I wonder if you could use that to like leverage like a mortgage. Oh, that's actually interesting to say you have really smart people. They can try If they can get it, it's theirs. Oh, I think he did that. Though. What I'm saying is like he's, he's probably tried everything. Yeah, because because dude, in my head, I'm like, I, I would give seventy percent of it to whoever fucking did it. What if they did this? All right, this is not a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> but what if what if he did like lottery style, and it was just like everybody in the world try entering like the lottery, and sixty four people, you, the sixty four digits, everybody in the world try. Whoever gets it, we we split it. With its honor it's not, code. It's not a bad idea. Here's the problem, though. The, the, if you get the, it, you're not splitting it. The con No, the combinations of amount of numbers, I think, like, also do we have to look it up? It's like, it, it's we're, like, in the in the trillions of, like, combinations. Right. So, like, you can't even... Yeah. You can't even do it, I don't think. Also, the account would have, like, three attempts to log in, be like, locked. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my dude, I would be suicide every single day. You'd never see me again. It would be over. I yeah. jump off the Golden Gate Bridge, dead. Four hundred million dollars is in my pocket. I can't access it. Yeah, but there has to be eventually this guy will get access or his his you know hierarchy. Can can families have hierarchies? Yeah. What is a hierarchy? It's men are the best. <laughs> No, hier hierarchy is just like the, like, you know, Anno commits like the His, strongest, then, 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 yeah. then it goes like, down. Regime? Like chain. Regime. Regime. Re regime, I think, is when uh, people cut other people's heads off. Okay. Someone in his things. family at some point, if I was, whoa, a lot, I think a lot of, is he piping? Is he having sex? He's got to be having sex. Because if I was a female, I would be saying, come in me a lot. Yeah, but here's the problem. We'd be in you're, the middle of the 405. Come you're gambling. In me. Gambling. Uh, with what? Because, so what? You Because you want his baby. Do you? Because he has zero dollars at this point. For now. Yeah, but I think it's been for years. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if you'll ever be able Bro, to get it. I can into unlock it. an iPhone with my face. They'll figure it out. 
It's 64 digits or 32 digits or whatever the fuck it is. Gabe, did you figure it out? Who's the company? Is there a company? There's no company now. There's no, oh, okay, never mind. Don't don't come in. Yeah, there's no company. Don't, that, that's don't that's come. literally the whole point about Bitcoin. It's just like off the grid, essentially. Not, not there's off the no grid. There's no customer service. No. no. That's the that's literally it's like a decentralized Who's? money. Yeah. Okay. Is, you can't call Bank <laughs> so, of America. Someone wrote in the other day and said that you guys should bring back the segment Trevor doesn't know shit, and it sounds like we've got one with Bitcoin right now. <laughs> but that's the thing is, hold on, hold on, stop. I've never Trevor, heard somebody... what's Bitcoin. Ethereum. Yeah. Digital currencies. Yeah. There we go. Non fungible tokens. Holy yeah. shit. NFT. I know keyword names. I know I know enough topics to rile up some bros at a at a two two dollar Tuesday taco shot night. You right. know. I'm starving. I can rile anybody up, you know? Crypto, yeah. Doge, Shibu Inu. Ooh. Shiba Ooh. Inu? Shibu yeah. Inu, that's a dog. I don't mm -hmm. know if that's a, now is that a coin, coin as well. Yeah. Shibu Inu is a coin. What came mm -hmm. first, the dog or the coin? The dog, 100%. I don't know about that. <laughs> Anyways, but uh, no. But I don't, but that's the thing. I, Bradley Martin was the first time I've ever heard anybody talk about their Bitcoin in a positive manner. Everybody else is like in the same position as this guy or or they're like, fuck, dude, I was I was doing good and now I'm down and I'm up. And, I'm, and it's just like, I, sure, I think at some point everybody's going to cash out on this, right? You know, and if they do it right, they'll get out, they'll make um, fucking the guy who shoots all my videos. He, he had a point where he he made like 10 grand and i was like cool pay me now yeah but yeah. so if you do it right that was the first time you hear about it but it's like i'm just i'm gonna stick to the traditional route you know and who knows maybe that's the right yeah. way maybe it's the wrong way but for now for now i like just knowing here's what i think everything just comes back to the original version meaning that people are gonna get a small amount of people are gonna get dumb wealthy off crypto right and then it's just right. going to come back to the point where crypto and the traditional wealth management, the percentages over a year, it's going to be the same. So the traditional wealth management is like, you know, seven to 10 percent per year if you have a, like a, a good a good manager. Right. And then crypto to at some degree when it becomes more when more people are going to use it and the, like you literally can like buy a sandwich with it. Yeah, that is going to all of a sudden become like the market is going to become seven to 10 percent. Right. Year. It's all just going to become it's just like. Yeah, I'm just like waiting. It was like, cut the wire, cut the cord. It's like, but now it's all you're paying the same amount as you would with cable because now you have you have Netflix, you have Hulu, you have fucking ESPN Plus, Coming you have full. Disney Plus, and yeah. now all of a sudden you're paying seventy bucks. It's the same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not saving money. I guess I'm just waiting until I'm like forced into it, and I and, and maybe that's the right move. Maybe Are it's you, not. Do you have no money in it? No crypto. Zero. None. I think I don't know what the safe thing. I think the the dude that does my money said six six percent or something like that of your portfolio should be in crypto. I'm surprised that none of your money's in crypto. No, I, right. I'm just a traditional guy. I just, I just need to know because, because then it, where my head goes, I, I don't even like to look at like what stocks are doing this and that. Yeah, no, I, I have stocks and stuff. It freaks me out. Because if my Bitcoin was, let's say I had $10,000 in it and we're, we're at like 1,000. Now in my head, I'm like, I got to go out somehow and make $9,000. All of a sudden I'm selling beanie babies to third graders. And it's like, how do we get here? Because in my head, I'm like, I need to make that money back now. Yeah. yeah. Anytime I spend money, I'm like, I need to make this money back now. Yeah. So for I me, I got back from Costa Rica and I was like, who wants to help me start our OnlyFans? Yeah. hundred percent. Who? Who right now? Your girlfriend. Maybe. There's so many un like people who do OnlyFans, but they cut it off at the head. Dude, and they just I, fuck. I would fucking do that. Cause first of all, guys, I don't know if you know this, and I don't I don't generally brag about this, but your boy got a body. Okay? So if you just don't look at my head, my cock's fine. Oh. I will say aesthetically, my cock's hot, but like length and girth, it's fine. But like aesthetically, I think it's hot. I think mm -hmm. I could get a, a number of subscribers. So it's not like a leading actor, or it's like it's like no, it's no, in the no. it's in the entourage though. It, it, it if it was in the entourage. Series regular or are we talking guest star? guest star okay. but like but a good arc like yeah. a 10 episode arc people remember your episode yeah they'd be like oh wow that was that was i don't know if they would they would be like it, it was good okay it was good never leading i would never my cock could never star in a movie it, it could start in like an a24 movie like that's indie that only shows in like 500 theaters in like milwaukee yeah. but like it's it's but i'm telling you like aesthetically it's it's like it's i think it's a good looking cock Okay. It's you know Are what I mean? you biased at all? No, listen, you know me. I'd be like, I have my cock's gross. <laughs> I would tell you guys in two seconds. But it's like it's got a nice uh got a nice hue to it. Hue? Yeah. Sephia? Maybe. What is hue? The, yeah, color? the color. The color. Just a funnier way to say color. 
It's got a nice hue. It's got a nice hue. Is it a different hue than what skin color you are? Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> You're two tone? No, I'm not too. Oh my! Yeah, my cock What's is happening? my cock is tanner than my body. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold up! What's happening? What do you mean? Yeah. <laughs> hold on! Hold on. <laughs> I'm getting hot. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Okay. <laughs> what is happening? I'm fucking sweating a little it's bit. It's the same color as like your stomach, right? No. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's, my face is a little <laughs> You got a banana dipped in chocolate down there, dude. What's it's not it's not like it doesn't look like cardboard but it's like it's a little it's a little it's got a little tan to it bring like, it out <laughs> <laughs> bring out the dancing lobsters what do you, yeah it's a, it's, but but it's at the base it changes or like fades uh so I, if ahead. they were to sell your car online right now would it be two-tone or would it just be like that's just how it is <clears throat> I'm trying to give you like a really accurate. Like you ever seen a like a 2004 Honda Accord that has like a white hood, but the car is silver? Yeah, yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah. Um, it's not it, it, like if you looked at it fast, you wouldn't be like, "Whoa, wow, your cock is different color than your skin." But it's definitely it's got a more tan feel to it. It looks like my dick went on vacation without me. <laughs> Funny. You know what I mean? Yeah. It went to Acapulco, came back, and was like, and kept it. And kept it. yeah, yeah. And has cornrows. What? <laughs> hey, white people, stop! <laughs> With the cornrows? With the cornrows. Dude, there's so many white people in fucking Costa Rica. Dude, what are you guys doing? Yeah. I don't like it. It's not. It's yeah. not a good look. But there was always that one girl in like, middle school who'd come to class with her like cornrows on. And it's like, it's that's just asking. That and Hannah Tattoos asked for people to be like, how was your ch It was so much fun. You didn't even ask? Yeah. You're like, hey, can I borrow? It was so good. Yeah, exactly. We had coconut <laughs> shrimp for breakfast. That doesn't even sound good. It honestly, are you a person that you need breakfast food for breakfast? Need it. Really? Yeah. Nah, I'm good. I could eat a it fucking if lasagna. I'm a, yeah, I mean, I, it, it depends. I would prefer breakfast food. Yeah. But if I'm in a rush, the amount of times I've done leftover Chipotle heated up. For breakfast? Yeah, yeah, I can do that. I can do any kind of leftovers for breakfast. Like leftovers cold out of the fridge, sense. it doesn't matter what it is. Let me put it to you like this. You know what? The one thing I can't do is like, um, like a like a like a juicy sandwich. A sandwich see, is like for too breakfast. Much. Yeah. I do that. What about egg sandwich? Breakfast sandwich? Yeah. You could or could not? Could not. I, well, in really? My, in my head, I'm not. No, no. Can can can. I've had okay. more, like breakfast sandwiches are my shit. Breakfast sandwiches are great. Yeah, I'm, I'm talking about like a pastrami, like something that's like Oh, well, that's like insane. That. Yeah. But, but you know, it's funny, you put one egg on it and you can justify it. Yeah, dude, but that's what's funny. If I, I could do Double pastrami. Double Angus burger, fried egg, yeah. breakfast. Yeah, but if I took, I just need to take the, the bread off. I could do pastrami and, and some eggs, no problem. Right. Pastrami and eggs sounds fucking fire. Anyways, I got a brown cock. <laughs> I just, I feel Arby's, like. Arby's, we feel have like the meats. I feel like it's normal. I don't Is it not what normal? Do you, what, Dave, where, Dave, where's, I can't, I can't, where's I'll, the I'll base? I'll check in between episodes. I don't. I can't think about it right now. Where's the you base? know what your cock looks like? I can't. I don't think it's any different color than my normal skin. Yeah, it's the same. With you, I can get on board with everything's the same because you're like you're like a, a, a percentage ginger. So like, I don't know if you're not even. You're not even like, Why am I getting roasted? <laughs> here? What do you mean? No, no, but you know what I mean. Like the pigment is a, your pigment is like lesser than a, a real person. <laughs> All right, guys, it's been fun podcasting. <laughs> <laughs> I, no, but you, but yeah, but you just sort of yeah. You don't have any um, what are they freckles? You have any freckles on your cock? On my cock? Yeah. No. All right. <laughs> I'm on my like arms. You know. Yeah, but like, those are like cute, <laughs> dude. What is it about when girls have freckles that are so cute? Girls be lying to us and putting fake freckles. Yeah. What the fuck? Dude. Beauty mark. Remember that? They're like, hey, this is a beauty mark. No, that's a mole. Oh, they do you're this? You're gross. <laughs> I will say the beauty mark, every once in a while, you're like, I don't want to fucking lick it. I yeah. want to lick it into the sunset while drinking a pretty sun. What's the hottest part about a girl? Go. <laughs> uh, eyes. What in the fuck? <laughs> in a fat ass. There you go. Uh, eyes? I Your love girlfriend's it. not here. <laughs> <laughs> uh... <laughs> What's the hardest part on a on like, a yeah like if okay oh here oh go. I mean if you could pick one one part of a what like if you like if you needed to get a nut out and by the way we have to we have to roundabout because I I had a nut today 
that that is for the, the it was it was an anomaly. <laughs> you ever you ever seen one of those cans and you open up the can and the fucking snake comes out of it? Uh, no, but like I've a, seen a croissant roll explode from Pillsbury. There you go. Yeah, it was it was because it was a uh, because my girls have been having like stomach issues, so we couldn't fuck. What's been going on with that stomach? Too full of semen. No, she was, uh, we honestly, dude, I had to leave San Diego early. Really? Yeah, we had to leave. Like, the whole plan was, we're going to do the, by the way, everyone who came out to the San Diego show is incredible, so fun, thank you so much. Um, but, uh, but, so we did the San Diego show on Thursday, and then I was going to do a, to stay on Friday, do some shows on Friday at this other comedy club, and then leave Saturday. Mm -hmm. But she had this, like, crazy stomach thing, we had to, like, leave, like, at, like, six in the morning on Friday morning, because she had, like, this gastrointestinal oh. issue, whatever. Damn, like, she okay? Yeah. Yeah, no, she, she's fine. She's fine. But but because she had all that, it was like four days of no of no pound town. Whoa. So I was backed up. <laughs> I'm talking about your boy was backed Fuck up. Fuck Holiday shipping backed up. Oh, yeah. I mean. Backed I, up. I had to like let everybody know that it's going to take at least three weeks. Yeah. For the shipment to Delays. get there. Oh. Rain delay. Holy shit. Hold on. Is getting blue ball the rain delay? Yes. Yes. Rain delay. Do women get blue balled? No. What's a woman, what's a girl blue balled? Wet sealed? <laughs> Flex seal? There we go. Uh, it's called blue bean. Blue bean. Blue bean. That sounds like a great coffee shop in Minnesota. I, did, I drink there. Blue bean. God damn. Holy Toledo, big shout out to our second sponsor of the mother effing episode. Okay, hey, hey guys, look, we're all adults here, all right? All and of some us. of us choose to use nicotine to relax, focus, or just unwind after a long day. Lucy Nicotine is a company that was created to help nicotine users find a definitive option and feel better about the ways they consume nicotine. All right, their latest product is Lucy Nicotine Capsule Pouches, which contain a breakable flavor ball ball inside a pure synthetic nicotine that provides the same satisfaction that nicotine users expect without any tobacco at all. You guys want to hear something funny? What? What's that? So I, uh, I was with a friend the other day and I had given him a pack of Lucy nicotine gum. Boom. Yeah. And he must not have remembered that I'm the one that gave it to him because uh, I was with him and he was like, dude, you have to try this. This is the best thing ever. And he pulls out a pack of Lucy nicotine gum and he's like, this stuff is the... Dude. And you're like... And I was like... Give me 10%. Yeah. Give me equity. Yeah, um, but yeah. So any, I've tried this stuff. It's great uh, as a as a person that likes nicotine, and and I know that other people that have been that have been trying to you know change their nicotine consumption mm -hmm. have been loving them. Yeah, and this one has like a little. It's like the ball. It's almost like um. There's a brand which we probably shouldn't say, but uh, you pop the end of the cigarette, and it has like a little mintier thing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So mm -hmm. it's something like that. So you get some more like minty. They got spearmint, mango, cool cider, and they also have two different strengths: four and eight milligrams. God damn. Um, if you're looking for a different alternative to cigarettes, maybe uh -huh. you don't want to smell like smoke. You got the family. You got the holidays coming up, dude. You're still trying to get that fucking quick little hit of nicotine, dude. Cool. Then hit up Lucy, dog. All, All right. right. So if you're a Stiff Socks listener, which you are, yep. uh, here's what you do. You go to Lucy.co and use promo code SOCKS to get 20% off your order of Lucy nicotine capsule pouches or any other Lucy products. That's Lucy.co. Use promo code SOCKS at checkout. And hey, guys. What? We started this out by saying we're all adults, so let's finish uh -huh. it as adults. We just got to say this. Yeah. Also, I have to give this disclaimer. Warning. This product contains non-tobacco nicotine. Nicotine is still an addictive chemical. Whoa. Lucy.co. Be sure to use that promo code. Sucks. Sucks. God damn. Anyways, what are we talking about? Where are we? What color is your cock? <laughs> What's the oldest girl you would fuck if you didn't have a girlfriend right now? 93. I love it. Gabe? <laughs> uh, I mean, Helen Mirren. Huh? However old Helen Mirren is. She's 2,000 years old. Yeah, Helen, Helen Mirren. Mirren. You, know you wouldn't Helen beat Mirren? Helen Mirren? I don't know who she is. Dude, if Helen Mirren did one monologue for me, I'd fuck her whole face in half. <laughs> I'd probably go like MILF, like You'd 50s, have to be... 52. Oh, I know her. Gabe, do me a favor. Yeah. <clears throat> after we after we scope this lady out, because she is very bad. Can you type in uh, hottest, uh, I don't know, older women? I don't know. I don't know how to phrase it nicely. Hottest older women? Hottest grandma? Just hot, hottest old. Who's women. ranking these things? Uh, I don't know. Let's see. Michael an Caine. Article by Macy's. Bring it out. Oh, but that's the most beautiful 50. women over forty. What about over sixty? Over there sixty. That's go. what there I need. Go. Over yeah, fifty. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's like 
Yeah. All right. So this is stunning celebrity women over 60. Yes. Ranker.com, where all they do is rank. She's over 60? Christy Brinkley. Dude, I would fuck her in front of a Six Flags while kids watch. This girl's bad. <laughs> 1954. God damn. Damn. Who that? Jane Seymour. Great Seymour's name. the oldest <laughs> name in the Seymour. world. <laughs> Seymour tits. She would. <laughs> We've got uh, Jacqueline, Jacqueline Smith. Smith. Jacqueline Smith. That's so weird. These, these people have like families with kids and uh, their kids have kids. And we're like, yeah, we'd fuck. That's World War II, isn't I it? I don't make it weird, dude. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> <laughs> what color is your cock? <laughs> <laughs> that apology was so sincere. I would, who is that? This is uh, Morgan Fairchild. Oh, Who are these people? Actresses? God damn. Yeah, I think they're probably mostly actresses. Yeah, more. And here's the thing about these women. Whoa. Boy, here's the thing about these women. They've been around the block. Yeah. They get your cock hard just by blowing in your eardrum. They'd oh, hum the Star yeah. Spangled Banner make it come in your goddamn corduroys. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? What? Is she doing a set? <laughs> 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 Who is this? Jack Dude, these have serious guy. votes. That has eleven thousand votes on it. Wow. Dude, there's there's a, a, a like uh, what what's the thing that you're into older women? It's like a horny. <laughs> it's um, I forget what it is, but that's why there's so many votes. Who the hell's that? Cheryl, Cheryl Ladd. Ladd. I wish they had bios on these. Yeah. God. Damn. I was just trying to find where Susan Sarandon was. There's Helen Mirren. Yeah. Damn. Helen Mirren, dude. Gabe be dropping names right now. <laughs> Hello, Mir I Gabe's just, all fired <laughs> up. Kim Basinger, bruh. I feel like I'm just walking around to Mervyn's right now, just seeing <laughs> all these people. How did we get on the topic? You were like, wait, full back. We got to talk about your girl nutting San Diego before that. Oh, oh today. Today you had a nut. Oh, today. today I had a nut. Whoa. Like a nut nut. <laughs> you know what I mean? No. Not like a jerk me off. Not like a boom boom. There's a nut. Like it was like a fucking super sucker two fifty. Or you slapped the pillow after. Like it was it was a nut from 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 the ice age. Like a musket nut. Yeah. Like it was it was. What a, was different about it? Just built up. It was a, it was a bit it was built up because I because you know when you get busy and you like literally like just. I, I did, I was just, it was videos and show, I just wasn't thinking about sex. It's very odd for me to say that, I just Whoa. wasn't. I wasn't, and my girl, my girl was not feeling great, so I was like taking care of her and like trying to do work, so it's like, it's just an unsexy time. Yeah, yeah, you're just yeah. doing work, you're taking care of your girl. And all of a sudden, yeah. things then, start boiling. And then today, And the boy, tea kettle goes off. Blow the whistle. Yeah. And then today, she was feeling a little better, right? So I'm, so I'm, <laughs> So I'm, I'm like, God damn. So I get, we do, you know, dog park, normal Sunday shit, get oh. some editing done, yitty yang yang. Bark, bark, I know. Yeah. So then I'm like, damn, I got to record tonight. I got to take a little nap, a little sleepy. Woke up too early, right? Then she's like, I'm tired too. So we go in my room. But you know what, what I knew is sexy time when nobody grabbed Greta. When, yeah. that, when that bitch stays in the living room. Who goes like, yeah, I can't wait to get a quick nap. And, oh, man, what the <laughs> fuck? Dude, and you then when Greta doesn't go in the room and you close both of the doors, fuck, pound town. And we, yeah. try, we try to move that I've never done before. You ever been so horny you leave your jackets on? We, yeah. I fucked in a jean jacket. My yeah. jean jacket was on. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we fuck outside. You get a goddamn yeah. frostbite. <laughs> yeah, you ever fucked in a parka? No! <laughs> We're in a parka in a park. Uh. Hard. Uh, bars. Uh, yeah. So we tried this new move, which I've never done before. Uh, maybe you have. It's a, uh, like, uh, how, how do you even describe it? It's like in a, a denim jacket? Yeah. <laughs> you just become the brawny paper towel boy? It was a, it was a cut, like a cuddle move. Uh, huh? li li big spoon, little spoon? Okay. Well, she's little spooning, and I'd you're hope. a big spoon? I'd hope. You know what I mean? Wait. Oh, I, you first of all, perpendicular. Pause real quick. Yeah. I fucks with being a little spoon. You don't like it? I don't mind it. Oh, I love it. No, I'm saying, but like for having sex, you need to. You can't be. <laughs> you never seen. You've <laughs> never <laughs> seen my girl's clit. It's fucking <laughs> weird. <laughs> Unless you're out here on that fucking peg shit. Yeah, you, which is fine. <clears throat> so, but I've never done. It. Have you done it? The, was she little spoon? You're the big spoon, and you're kind of just like lining your side. 
Not to fuck, but just to be held, sure. No. Oh, oh yeah, that's nice, too. I'm talking about beat. Wait, 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 hold on. Yeah. Walker's where, up. Where you're... I'm the big spoon. Yes. She's the little spoon. Yeah. You're going and y'all back. fucking sporking it up, On right? the side. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I've done that. Oh, never done it. That's like the, uh, oh, we got to be quiet. Yeah. There's the I'm doors. A, be real honest with everyone. My cock ain't big enough. <laughs> I can't get a good fucking... I can't so get a good you got two tones bow. and two inches? <laughs> I can't get a good wow. The two tone bone title, right? Let's go. So, but I, you know what I mean. I like to thrust. I can't get a good thrust. But 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 that's essentially just doing doggy style, but sideways. Yeah, but you know what I mean. You can't get a good fucking fuck. There's all these little baby ping ping. Right. Yeah. No. <laughs> Wait at the circus. I'm trying to fuck. Yeah, but you can do that for a little bit and switch it up. That's what we did. Yeah. I did like three strokes and I'm like, this is for fucking babies. Give me what? that pussy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that, man. You literally just said your your dick wasn't big enough. Sounds like you're the baby in this situation. Sounds like that's for grown men with one color cock. <laughs> oh, I don't know why that's so funny. You're like, I don't know about that, man. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that's um I've done it, but it's not it's not a go to, but Yeah, it's not like You ever feel like you just mix it up to mix it up and then you're like, What are we doing? One foot's in a goddamn like air fryer. <laughs> One's in a bathtub and you're like, What what even is this? And yeah. like, let's just go back to the reg. Yeah, but I'm gonna be honest, man. Sometimes the, like you just do the regular so much, you're like, is our sex life getting stale? Right, right, right. No, so I, I, I agree. That that random shit where you're like, Oh, let's do this and you're like, Yeah, sure. And yeah. then you try it and you're like, At least we tried it. That's what it felt like. No, I'm, of, I'm I'm game for those. Yeah, but those then we, so, great. so we did a beep beep whatever, <clears throat> and uh, I'm gonna be honest, I was like backed up up, so I haven't felt a coochie in four days. You ever forget how a coochie feels? My dick was like, God damn. Yeah. I'm in a fucking hot tub. It yeah. was it was so. So you came quick. Oh, your boy had to think about obscene shit not to come. <laughs> <laughs> but dude, I, there's just a point in no return. No matter what you think about, you're still nothing. Yeah, I mean, dude, I did so much three-stroke pull-out, three-stroke pull-out. It was, like, getting annoying for everybody. Intermittent pupping? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I know. And the <clears throat> shitty part is uh, my girlfriend listens to this podcast. So when we talked about, like, oh, yeah, go down on her if you're about to, to nut. Every time yeah. I go down on her mid-fucking, yeah. she's like, you better come. And I'm like, God damn it. Yes. Stop, stop, stop listening. Yeah, 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 stop listening. Just play it on silence. We still get the views and the listens on yeah. Spotify. Run it up. Run it. Um, yeah, but so I was doing a three pump, get out, three pump, get out for like, I mean, the, buddy, three minutes, four minutes. You were running stingers on her pussy. Hilarious. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. And then, and then I felt it bubbling. Like it was, it was ready to go. Yeah. And then thank God she was ready to go. So she like, let me know that she was about to come. And then when the girl, when you about to come and the girl says, I'm, 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 I'm immediately my brain goes, you can come now. So I took it out before she, like, she was like 5% into the cum. This is how dope it was. I pulled out, and let me tell you something again, guys. Super Suckle 500, it was, it was like a fucking fireman's hose. It was insane, like, blah, blah, all this kind of shit. It's the exact noise firemen make when they're putting out fires. Yes, that's exactly what it was. Blah, blah, <laughs> blah, blah. But what was dope, my girl, is... I I gave her I got her there and gave her like ten percent of the orgasm and as soon as I took my dick out because she knew I was coming then she just finished she like, finished herself and then I was coming as she was finished herself hot damn she's like I got it from here yeah wow yeah but I just I the precision of her hand just went whoop like right when my dick came out and she put it right on and finished herself so hot and the amount dude the amount of semen I had to take both of my socks off to clean it up. No towels in the house? No paper towels? No nothing? Socks? <laughs> paper Stiff towels? Socks. Stiff socks! <laughs> paper towels? You're gonna waste trees? You're gonna now have to do laundry? So much, I do have so much laundry to do. But I literally There's had so to, much cum socks. Dude, I literally had to take off one sock, put it up, and then another, two socks. You cleaned up, come off her with a used sock? Yeah, it was not great. And those are the socks I went to the gym in. Ew. Uh-huh. Were you still wearing a denim jacket for this? Yes. <laughs> Wait, you guys were both wearing what denim jackets in this spooning grills. position? She was wearing... <laughs> what kind of jacket was she wearing? She was wearing like a puffer jacket. <laughs> like oh a black God. puffer jacket. And no wonder I couldn't get in there. There was, was too much... There was Dude. too much shit. 
if you were both wearing denim, you would have started a forest fire. Denim on denim sex? That's a hate crime. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. Um, well, good for you, man. I haven't came in like four days, so I'm going to jerk off in the 405. Yeah. Um, no, I came last night. Turn up. It was the same thing. It was, it was the same thing where you're talking about. It was like, well, you're, you're worried about work stuff, you yeah, know? Because yeah, yeah. we landed in Denver Thursday. Uh -huh. Shows were, God, great. Great, great comedy. Great people. Yeah. Loved it. But we landed. We did a show. And then we filmed stuff, and then we did more stuff. And so by the end of the weekend, it was Saturday night, late, like 2 a.m., I was like, oh, the work is done. Yeah. And your boy was rocked. Yes. Dwayne The Rock Johnson uh -huh. up, rocked up. Yes. Do you ever look at your dick and be like, oh, where, where is this? Yeah. When did you hit the NOS? How Shut up. When did you <laughs> hit the <laughs> No, I was... If we, <laughs> this is a hilarious... It's funny to say because it's like I'm the only one backing up my shit here. But hard. No, yeah, dude, of course. There's there's been times Rock. Yeah, well my shit is like marble rock that I'm like, how come you're not like this Every all the time? time? Sometimes it's like sleeping bag hard. I'm like, yeah. what is this? Cause yeah. Blue chew. Yeah, sometimes it's literally like where she's the one being frisked up and she's like, yeah. Oh, I'm trying to get it and your dick's like, Yeah. And it's coming in hard yeah. question mark. Yeah, it's like you know it's what is like it's coming in like al dente. You're yeah. like, this is not yeah, you're this like, is not what, this, this is not, not what I'm in, about. Yeah. This is not what I'm about. Put it I, back in the air fryer. Yeah, I yeah. can get, let's go, I can get it. But uh -huh. when you're fucking rocked up, yeah. you're looking in the mirror and be like, oh, fucking let's Is go. that me? Fourth quarter player. Two-tone Blaustein? <laughs> Two-tone Blaustein. <laughs> wow. Um, I saw something <laughs> wild on the plane that I just wanted to discuss. Yeah. Um, there was a guy adjacent from me, aisle, no shoes, just to start off with. Hot. Before we even took off, yeah, there we go. Before we took off, he was drinking a Coors Light uh, in, a, in a cup. So I think he brought it on the plane and he was scrolling Twitter and he was watching porn on Twitter. No, he, <laughs> he was, was watching not. Twitter porn. Literally, I was like, there's no way. He was like, it looked like he was going through like a porn star's like media because yeah. it was like, she was blowing a dude. Then she was getting clapped out and he just kept scrolling. And then right after he checked his credit score, <laughs> I was just like, <laughs> this guy. Honestly, if I know my crowd well enough, he was probably going to my shows or whatever. But he honestly, the funniest part about it, he had a 721 credit score. And I was like, I don't know a lot about that, but that's it's pretty, pretty good. decent. To be risking it, to be watching porn in a public place on Twitter while drinking a Michelob Ultra with your shoes off, to have a 721, I think he was just flexing at that point. It was just so funny. I can't believe, dude, I get weirded out when I'm on a plane and like the movie I'm watching has like a frisky right. scene. I get I get weird. I want to be like, yeah. oh, this is Avatar. Like I want to like let people know yeah. that I'm not just watching this to get rocked up. Mm -hmm. Dude, when there's a scene, I literally, I'm not even shooting you, I will not look. To be like, I don't even need. Like, I like because I feel weird. It is weird that Delta puts it on. They're like, yeah, hey, yo, this movie got tits in it. Good luck. Yeah, like, it, I'm trying what? to think. Of, I'm trying to think of the movie I was watching. Oh, dude, I was watching fucking Entourage because yeah. I never watched the movie. Mm -hmm. Just fucking tits everywhere, dude. Yeah. I was on the, the aisle seat. Flex. I got aisle money, guys. I was on the aisle seat. Man, let me have it. I was on the. <laughs> Aisle seat's the worst place to watch anything with tits in it. Awful. Middle seat, you feel bad for you. Like, all right, yeah, get your fucking dick hard. Window, they're like, cool. Now think about it outside. Open up the blinds. Picture tits in the clouds. Guys, sidebar. If you're if you're on the window seat, mm -hmm. close 100 percent the fucking the flight blind. home today. The flight home today. The guy behind me beaming. Close I the will blind. say the flight home from Colorado. You can see a lot of Rockies, but after a while, it all looks the same. Close it. No. Close it. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I, oh, oh, I hate when the pilot goes, to the left, you can see, shut the fuck up, I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> to the left, you can see, go get an atlas, you poor fucks. What, 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 <laughs> god damn it, to the left. Tony Baker has such a funny joke about all that. He goes, uh, he's like, I, I hate when people look out my window. Like when yeah. the aisle looks out at your window, you're like, yeah. it's my fucking window, bitch. Yeah. You're looking out my window. I also hate when people watch my movie, which I do all the time. Uh, like on the seat. I, 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 I glance at it and then I like look away awkwardly. I'm like, why am I like watching this screen? Dude, there, there's I literally watch a football game with another grown man. We're just watching a game together. Yeah. Yeah, and why I have access to my TV. <laughs> but it is weird when you're watching the same movie as somebody. You almost have like a book club. You want to be like, what do you think? <laughs> yeah, because what? Yeah, that's so funny. Because I'll do that. Because I'll be watching like not the, obviously the person doesn't know I'm watching, but I want to like when something happens, I want to be like, go oh, right. But it's so odd that you're watching, especially when you have your shit in front. Like it just I don't know. Like mm. I'm editing. What happens is I'm editing, and then I look up, and then I, then I end up watching someone's TV for like ten minutes. 
Yeah, yeah. Do you, when subtitles are on the screen, do you read all the subtitles or can you ignore them? My brain goes, eh, zing, and yeah, I'm yeah. locked in. That's, I have to read them. That's why when Gabe says his like his girlfriend has to have the subtitles on, like I, I can't, I wouldn't be able that to watch TV up. because I because I I would read and then I'm like missing the movie because I can't read fast. Right. I even do yeah. it with clips that I post on like TikTok and Instagram. I'm like, are people even watching me or are they just reading? Reading. Reading. Reading Rainbow. Yeah. Take a look. It's in a book. Reading Rainbow. How has no rapper sampled that yet? It's probably a billion dollars. What are we talking about? Fucking Reading Rainbow. I need to say this and I keep forgetting. This happened like weeks ago and I keep fucking forgetting to Your tell you guys. It's like a, a, a rocket pop. <clears throat> it does. But speaking of my cock, Whoa. do you guys remember my childhood closet? The AKA cum closet? I do. Your boy got domed off in the cum closet. Wow. But did you add to the collection after? No. Just a quick little tippity top. Dude. Because, Flip flop. Yeah, because my girl and I were home for Thanksgiving. This is how long ago. I can't believe I didn't tell you guys this. And we got back. Oh, it was when we got back from Costa Rica. So we had like a day in D.C. after Costa Rica. And then we went uh, back to L.A. Um, but my brother was there. In the cum closet? Hold on. <laughs> no, he was filming it. No. Yeah. Um, there was, and then he goes, and then brother was like, all right, so I'm gonna go for a little run. A little run. Yeah. And I go, how long you gonna be going for? Yeah. He said 15 well, minutes. Well, that's right, half a long. He said 15 minutes. I said. Make it 16. <laughs> make it five. <laughs> he said, and then I literally was like, Fever, like he bounced, and my girl and I feverishly started hooking up. So we like, we don't have much time. Let's get this popping off. Mm -hmm. And we were actually staying in, like, we had all our shit in my brother's room because my brother has a bigger bed. So then we were like, kind of kissing in that room. But I'm like, no, we can't fuck on my brother's bed. That's super weird. Like, I can't do that. Kind of a flex. But also, Is he older, or younger brother. Younger. Yeah, so it's weird. Definitely fuck on his bed. That's weird. It's a power he's, move he's got too many books around it's i don't know it's like a nice room i don't want to fuck in that room so then we like make our way to my room and i'm like i'll fucking shit on my bed i don't give, I right, don't right. give a fuck mm -hmm. and then we started hooking up but then i got you know pushed up against the wall because i'm a fucking man right whoa yeah and then, I, and then i look around i'm like oh shit we're in a cum closet and my girl so dope she knows it's the cum closet Did she really? so she yes she goes you want well, also, there's stalactites hanging on the door oh, frame. Oh my god, there's babies on the ground. <laughs> Dad, <Dada? laughs> So she goes, Do you want to go in your closet? She said, Your closet, by the way. Oh no. Yeah, I can't believe I didn't fucking tell you a story. So yeah, I mean, just we go in there. And by the way, more shit on the floor than I remember. Like, I think. I think it's like a storage closet now because I we like barely fit in there. Yeah. Yeah, barely fit. Dude, my room in my uh, hometown. Just not even in a room anymore. My dad just put drum set in there. I was like, what? Where's my bed? <laughs> Where's my soccer trophies? You don't have any. Third place. In what? Soccer. No. Yeah. <laughs> there was only three teams playing. <laughs> no. Uh, so in the cum closet, she's doming me off. Does it still cum on the walls? Look at me. <laughs> oh, yes. No. Yes. On the ground, on the walls. It's a weird place in there. But also, it brings back a lot of childhood memories. A lot of things were done in there. My basketball card collection's in there. My fucking uh, Boy Scout sash is in there. Weird. Yeah. So she's done me off. And it was like a, it was a nice it was a nice moment. Yeah. I was like, wow, come I used full to, circle. Come yeah. full circle. Come circle. hey, come hey. Because I used to. That was my time in there. Yeah. I, I used to like you know. And now I, it's your time together in there. Yeah, but Our I just time. I just never. I never had any sexual interaction besides me and my hand in there. Yeah. God damn. Guys, guess what? What? Holy Toledo. It's our third sponsor of the mother effing episode, whoa, dude. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This podcast is sponsored by Better Help. All right. Is there something interfering with your happiness? Yes, it is. It's called effing life, okay? Or is preventing you from achieving your goals? Yes, it's called life, okay? Better Help will assist your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist. All right, they'll match you with a therapist in under 48 hours. Come 48 on, 48 hours, bro. dude, that's like two days. That's quicker than any match I've ever gotten on Bumble. That's wow, match yourself with somebody who's gonna help yourself mentally, spiritually, and emotionally. All right, it's not a crisis no. line. It's not a self-help. No. It's a professional therapy.
be done securely online. There's a broad range of expertise available, which may not be locally available in your city. You know, not saying you live in a shitty city, but you might have shitty therapists. But if you live in Jacksonville, you do. <laughs> <laughs> this service is available for clients worldwide. You can log in from your account anytime, send a message to your therapist, get in, get out. You'll get timely and thoughtful responses. Plus, you can schedule weekly videos or phone sessions. So you won't ever have to sit in an uncomfortable waiting room as traditional therapy. P. P. BetterHelp is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches so they can make it all right, easy, and free to change therapists if needed. We all know that I'm a big proponent of therapy. I love it. Trevor's got on the therapy train. We all love it. And let me tell you something. This is an amazing freaking experience because before the pandemic, man, you had to go to the goddamn office, all right? And that is never comfortable. You got to sit on a freaking couch that smells like roaches. We don't love that. I went to a really poor therapist, so that's why it smells like roaches. This is a better help. You can do it from the comfort of your own home. It's incredible. All right, how do you do it? I'll tell you. Visit betterhelp.com slash socks. That's better. Help H E L P and join over two million people who have taken charge of their mental health with the help of experienced professionals. And we also have a special offer for Civ Sox listeners. What? You huh? heard me right. Get ten percent off your first month at betterhelp.com slash socks. Ten percent off first month, betterhelp.com slash socks. Gabe, go to the episode. God damn. Banging in your hometown room for the first time uh, was always a big like you're like, whoa. I have beat the final level. I only fucked, this is kind of insane to say, I only fucked once in my room. You know what's funny? <clears throat> what? Uh, I've only done it twice. Really? Yeah. What's wrong with us? I, we had strict parents. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, my mom never- I was always out of their house. Always. Crawling through dog doors and shit. Oh my God. They had windows going to yeah. basements. Yeah. Fucking on pool tables. Fucking yeah. underneath the pool table, Cars. like that's even better. Yeah, but that's literally what it was. Ford Explorer, Eddie Bauer edition in the back seat. Now those bitches had a wagon. The oh, Eddie yeah. Bauer edition, oh, dude. That's nicer than a lot of studio apartments in Van Nuys. I would 100%. live in one of those. Hundred percent. But yeah, that's what it was. The girl I dated in my senior year of high school, and then uh, the girlfriend now when we went back and visited. And, uh, that's where I did the the sideways, the thing you were talking about, the fucking the little. Uh, Little yeah, uh, yin the yang, yeah, the yin yang spoon thing. Isn't it just weird to fuck it? Like it's just, it's a my my childhood home is like a very unsexy place. Yeah, my room still has stars on the ceiling. Yeah, <sighs> I don't want to fuck to the galaxy. I'm being serious. There's stars on the ceiling. Still. You have to leave. <laughs> <laughs> Why are there stars on the ceiling? Because they've been there since I was a kid. Oh, okay, that's different. You're just like smoking a cigarette. You're like, it's Orion's belt. Do you have a Milky Way or something? Or do you have any, uh, like, there's some constellations. There. There's a few. That's kind of cool. Orion's belt's in there. Uh, I mean, we tried. I don't. I don't know how accurate it was, but yeah. Every time I go back and I and I look up, I'm like, oh, no wonder I lost my virginity at 17. All right. But I'll tell you what. As a kid, I used to look up at those stars, and I would just I would just dream about hot women. Especially yeah. like the ones in my class, I'd be like, I'd be, I'd name the stars after the hottest no! girls. No. I'd, I'd be like in my head, I'd dedicate I'd be like yeah, stars for Lexi. Whatever the fuck. Yeah. And then and I look up so at it and be funny. like, that's your star, Lexi. And she's like, what? And she had no idea. But that's well, okay. so funny. But there was something about it that would get me riled up. I'd be in like fifth grade being like, she got a whole fucking, she got a whole personality and a whole solar system, girl. Oh my God. Throw dude. that ass into space. This is bringing back. So dude, did you, you got some class pictures, obviously, right? Yeah. Yeah. Here did you guys go. get the like, individual like wallet size pictures that was an option yeah my mom so, didn't want to buy them right. yeah you got like three for free but the yeah. wallet ones were more extra yeah so more extra so mo Push. most people in my like high school would get the get the pictures like the wallet ones and they would pass them out like right on the back like hey blah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. i had like a roller deck of them like all the hottest girls in my class <laughs> did they know oh. that you had those well yeah they gave them to me the roll in the back whatever <laughs> but i literally would like i mean that was I mean, just that was Tinder jacking off. To these <laughs> yeah. And it's funny, like she hands me like, we're just best of friends. And blah, blah. And cut to 18 minutes later in my room, just fucking feverishly beat my cockiness to these goddamn pictures. And like reading the back. Oh, maybe she I love. Yeah, we didn't have the individual cards, <clears throat> but I, I remember early on, like me and my friends in like third or fourth grade, maybe fifth grade, like, uh, OK, senior year of high school, uh, we would like I feel would you ever like put like hearts around the girls you like had crushes on mm -hmm. yeah and then you look back on it and be like 
Still beat. <laughs> <laughs> I just think it's so funny to be like that young and be like yo i'm gonna give this girl the heart it's like super liking somebody on tinder but like in a yearbook you're like i get allison got the heart allison got the heart and also it's like they don't know that you're yeah. like this is this is my girl this is my <laughs> boo you ever like like read back the stuff that they would write in the yearbook and then try to like dissect it and be oh, like, oh yeah. that means that she's trying to fuck me every girl that wrote hags in the yearbook was friends on you she was ghosting you she yeah. didn't she didn't care about you and she wanted to fuck your older brother hags have a great have a great summer oh, have a Pain. great summer Pain. no have a great summer Pain. i'll see you over the summer hand job in a field bitch when they left the phone number that that was like i felt like you could just look up at the sky and you hear Morgan Freeman's voice being like, good job, son. Yeah. What about the XOXO in the year? Man? XOXO is great. XOXO. I would love to go back and see what, cause a lot of times people would be like, they would say one thing about you. They'd be like, oh, yeah. Michael, so much fun having science class here. You were so yep. funny. You have a two-tone dick. So I'm wondering yeah. like what, I'm wondering, like, what did I, you burn it on a Bunsen burner? Yeah. I don't know. I would just love to know like what people, their, their view of me was back then. Yeah, that's, that's so funny. I think a lot of people said that. You're like, you're so goofy. You're so shy. You're cocks, man. When was the last time that you like thought about like the hot girls in your high school and then like did a little Google? I haven't done that in fucking no, I have ever. Just dude. to see like how they are now. Yeah, where are they I still now? follow a lot of people I like know from my hometown. So I kind of like. Is when like you say I've from kept... your home, this is a dumb question, but when you say from your hometown, you mean high school. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. yeah. I I went to elementary, middle school, and high school in the, same, in the same city. So, yeah. I grew up with a lot of the same people. The crazy one is the the in inverse. When when you haven't paid when you haven't paid attention with somebody, yeah, and then all of a sudden you see them come across your feet, and you're like, "That's what Ariella looks like now." Bad. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. Like out of nowhere, you're like, it it, it might have been just like the girl was like somewhat quiet or like pretty reserved and kept to yep. herself, and now you're yep. like, "Well, oh, god damn." Dude, there was this one girl once at like high school re like the first high school reunion we had. You had one? one girl. Yeah. But there's this one girl, and I'm not gonna say her name, but dog the come up that this lady had. Right. Everybody in the everyone that went was like like literally trying to game her up. Right. And she was just like this like not weird, but she just was like this, like an art. Like she just kind of kept to herself, whatever, whatever. But I mean like fucking bad. Mm -hmm. Like I literally, I think I, I think I even might have DM'd her. Like, oh, you definitely did. I, <laughs> but that's more surprising. The people that are like hot in high school, and then you see them now, and they're and they're just like whatever. They're just like, yeah, I'm a mom, and I'm working here, and I do that, and this is my life. And you're yeah. like, cool. It's the opposite where you're like, oh, what the fuck? Give me a yeah, yeah. Because then you're, it, it catches you more off guard. I think I don't know. No, no, a hundred percent. God, I'm just I like there's there's a list of like five girls that I want to Google. Like, where the fuck are you? Because they were the hot girls in high school? Yeah. What are they doing? I'll tell you what. Managing a T-Mobile. Yeah, I don't think anyone's doing. Well, maybe. I don't know. But that's the thing. There are, and there's two girls I can think of that I went to high school with that were like, they were the hot girls. Yeah. And they still look good. Yeah. That's a blatant lie. <laughs> no. No. I, no, there was, there was a few great white buffaloes where you're like, I remember when we used to all go out on uh, the night before Thanksgiving a couple of years ago, mm -hmm. I would like pray that like they would be there. Yeah. it was. It, I had the same feeling when you wore a fire outfit and you're like, I hope that they come to class today. Yes. I had that same feeling being like, oh, she's still hot. I'm back from college. I got 10K on fucking Vine. Let's run it up. Dude, Where you was, at? That was some of the best like anticipation because i remember i know exactly what the fuck you're talking about when you like the first couple of years after like when you're like a freshman college sophomore in college when you come back and right. you're like where where are they and everybody because like once you get to like junior senior year, most people don't come like it just gets a little yeah, weird yeah, yeah, yeah. but like when there's only like one or two years separation for your hometown and everybody goes to that same bar in bethesda maryland you guys know what i'm talking about yeah. and uh and then you're looking around like oh where's oh my god blah blah yeah. those hookups Fuck. Uh, yeah. Those are anticipation. Like, I wanted to fuck you sophomore in college yeah. or high school, but you hated me. Or you were dating but, but, but Kevin Conto. But it's so Conto. funny because you add a year difference, 365 days, same every day, same amount of time that anybody has in a year. Yep. But you went off to college six hours away. You come back being like, I'm a new man. I'm a distinguished gentleman. Yeah. My dick's two-tone. Yeah, but the funny thing is you're only 19. <laughs> 
there's there's not a big difference. It's like right. you're you're the same kid with an asterisk. Oh, but now you're wearing your frat letters or you're wearing a quarter zip. You dress a little bit differently. God, you're right, dude. I would go to those fucking bars with my frat letters like, yo, what oh, up? Oh my like, god. I'm like a man now. Dude, I wore I frat letters like they were a blue check mark. Yep, yes. I was like ladies. Yes. Like because that was me like flexing on the people in my hometown, be like, oh, what's up? How have I been? Zzz, oh, I don't know. Just wearing my fucking frat letters. But but the, it, but it's funny to think that that would make them think any different of you. Cause like, oh, you went to college. You did the thing half the world does. You joined a frat. Never heard of that before. I was so confident. The Wednesday night was the biggest night in my hometown, but that bar closed yeah. that place. No. They didn't make it through the pandemic. This place Brendan's dude. It was like the spot, right? It was yeah. an Irish pub. They had fish and chips. Families would eat through at night and then people get their posters eating it uh, later in the night. No, yeah. You wanna go? Anyways. No, I'm just, I'm, uh, one, I wanna go, two, Eating pussy is a great thing. I actually want to go. <laughs> uh, flash cut when Michael said, he, uh, the girl said he doesn't eat a lot of pussy. Anyways, no, but it Can was we like, go? A, it, what? Can we go? It, I want to go it, to this place. It closed down. Fuck, you already said that. It I forgot. closed down. Had I forgotten eight Dude, seconds. no, but this was like, we probably did like three, uh, like Wednesday nights before Thanksgiving there. And it would <sighs> go off. And that was a place where you would see that one girl and you're like, I hope, or that other girl, that hot girl, went off to a different college, and then you went off to a college, yeah. and you feel like for some reason you would have this bond, like, yo, yeah. you went to Boise State, yeah. I went to San Jose State, yo, you got a mascot, I got a mascot, you got a tit, I got a dick, come on. Wow. You have this, like, th you think that you're gonna mesh. I was so confident one of the nights, before we even went to the bar that Wednesday, I got a room at a Motel 6. No. I swear to God, I got, no. a room, I got a room at a Motel 6 across, because how it's set up in that parking lot is the Irish pub, there's a Denny's, and then there's a Motel 6. And I was like, I am so confident that I'm gonna no. pull, that, no. I, that I got a room at Motel 6 before I even went there that night. And you know what's funny? I woke up the next day, and it was just me and the homies. No. <laughs> Did not pull, I, I made out with the girl that night, and, okay. and I was like, oh, you wanna go to the Motel 6? But that's a sentence nobody ever wants wants to hear yeah i made out with a girl that we had like a few classes together it's so she fucking was on the hot. softball team she could have beat my ass i was scared but yeah um, but she had a softball ass though yeah i wanted her to wind up and then just throw a finger in my ass doing I that love it. Uh, um i but, god i know what you mean that fucking that like that sexual chemistry with someone that you like but i think that's what it is like you kind of it comes down to you know what also it is i just realized it's like the the un like what am i trying to say here like the it's not the anticipated, and it's like um, the unknown is what I'm going for. It's like, oh, maybe we should have been something in high school. Maybe I missed out on something. Let's move forward with this and let's see. Maybe we maybe we could have been something. Well, there's also something that puts uh, maybe a little bit of a ticker on it, like a clock. It's like, you know, we're both back for winter break. Yep, 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 yep. We got yep. two weeks, and I, and yep. I had some of those too. This girl went to U of A, and and you know, it was like she her. Winter break match up with mine. And then we went on a few dates and we like damn near we're like, it's we're together, sped up. Yeah. Dude, we're, we were like, I was like, this, yeah, feelings, yeah, oh, this, yeah. that's the one. Yep. And then you go back to school and you're like, yeah, that's not gonna work. No. No. I'm six beers deep. I miss her. Anyways, no, <laughs> no, but that, I think that's what it is. It's that that hometown, that feeling, the horn, horny, horned hometown up. Hometown horny is a different horny. Horned up in your hometown. Title. I will say I don't. Yeah, I think the title's got to go to your two tone cock, but yeah. okay. But honorable title, horned up honorable in your hometown. Title, yeah, honorable horned up hometown. Um. Well, we're forty seven billion minutes into this, we and we still have to do sock talk. So let's uh let's move. Let's let's just let's just fucking move along. Gabe's, are you ready? Yeah, let's get into it. We have a uh, sock talk here. This is from uh, Brandon. And Brandon said, I j was just listening to the new episode with Bradley Martin, and I needed to tell you guys that I do have a full send tattoo. Uh, it's on my thigh, and I read it every time I poop. Was he wow. the dude at the gym? I don't think so. No. I think a full send on your thigh is like a... I've seen it Common? Like, yeah. Not hmm. com like not the most common, but I've definitely, I've definitely seen it in other places. Wow. <clears throat> so, Good yeah. poops. I just wonder if that guy looks down at it and like it, it gives him like inspiration. Right. You know what I mean? It's like, I, I, do, what what job do I want, man? Do I want to go to the like the corporate job? Do I want to go splunking? Do I want to be a professional splunker? Like I've like I've always dreamed. He just looks down. It's his full send. He's like fucking splunking. Like yeah. does it push him? I don't think so. I don't think so either. I, I think it's it looks good with shorts on. 
Because I think about that all the time too. It's like, I know people that have like, they have like breathe tattooed on their hand to rem remind them to breathe when they're stressed out. And I, I don't know, maybe they do, but I, I would it, imagine sometimes you're just so stressed out uh, looking at a hand, you'd be like, oh yeah. But sometimes you're so stressed out, you're like, you forget you even have hands. Also, you're like, fuck that. Right. Dude, the amount of times my, my watch will be like, has this like function that'll just, it'll, it literally oh. will say breathe on Oh, I know. Apple watches like, say it at the worst yourself. times ever. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, li I'm literally in the middle of a robbery. I'm trying to rob a Chase Bank and it's like, breathe. Shut up. I have a Ronald Reagan mask on. I'm trying to fucking get this money, dog. And then breathe. I want to rob a bank. How well, fucking cool right. would that be? Full send, dude. Full send. <laughs> Cops go, why did you do it? And you say full send. And the cop pulls up his shorts. He has a full send tattoo, both. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Brandon. I think it's pretty cool that he has a full send tattoo right where I'm going to get my Toyota Yaris tattoo. Are you going to get your Yaris tattoo right there? I think you should do be thigh. thigh. Yeah, I think I'm going to do thigh. Are you really? Thigh is a cool place because you can have really shitty tattoos on your thigh and it looks dope. Yeah. And I don't mean that to be rude to you or brandon mm -hmm. i'm just saying you can just have almost like you know when you get a, a sheet of stickers mm -hmm. if you just slap that on your thigh somebody be like ah yeah it's cool tats. yeah i feel like thigh is a good it's a good palette for just like fun it, tattoos yeah exactly it looks you can practice there. you can do kind of whatever there but if you had that a bunch of shitty ones on your bicep people are like did you get that in Venice Beach with somebody with a spork? It's actually interesting, yeah, because you kind of think like, all right, bicep, like you're trying to go for like, oh, this is a, I want Look this to me, be attractive, this, this yeah, is yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. Whereas thigh is like, it's kind of fucking it's around. It's universal that people understand, they're like, oh, it's a thigh tat, it can be yeah. anything. A thigh tat is like a, like a doodle pad. Like yeah, no you can play so tic-tac-toe and then get it tatted on there. Tic-tac-toe is actually a cool tat. Gabe, how big are you going to get this Yaris tattoo? I don't know, man. We could have, so this is all going to be a Patreon thing. So we could uh, get some designs done, have Patreon vote on it, which one I get. Because I'm yeah. wondering, like, a Patreon uh, a subscriber could draw it. Oh, wow. That would be really, actually be really cool. Yeah. Really cool opportunity. Yeah, Patreon oh, it, people yeah, DMS. It, and then we put their Instagram handle on your other thigh. I love it. And then your walking billboard for Riley2344. Riley Reed. Hot. At, at Guys, this point, I'm getting oh. a Yaris tattoo. I'll get their Instagram handle tattooed too. Oh, I don't, this is so I don't funny, give a dude. shit at this point. Would you mind? Yeah. Let's see. We'll do the tag thing. <laughs> yeah, I got you. Yeah. As a reminder, guys, eight, when we reach 8,000 Patreons, freaking Gabe's going to get a freaking Yaris tattoo. I'm so excited. Um, all right, guys, let's do a secret sock now. Let's do it. This is an anonymous submission. It says, uh, one time I got jerked off after watching Brother Bear on the sixth anniversary <laughs> of my grandma's passing. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys remember Brother Bear? Because I did not. This but sounds I like a the... Mad Lib. Doesn't that sound like a sense that you can't make up? This Brother, is Brother Bear. Bear. He said, I got jerked off watching Brother Bear after his grandmother's six year of passing away. Yes, yeah, so I mean, this is, he gave us some context. He says, uh, my first sexual experience with my new girlfriend of four hours. Uh, Brother Bear is my favorite movie, so I four made- Four hours? Yeah, so he made her watch Brother Bear because that's his favorite movie. This is his favorite movie? Uh-huh, and she, uh, she jerked him off after. I felt kind of guilty because of the whole grandma thing, but what am I supposed to do, say no? Probably, yeah. Oh, he's from Australia too. No, if, I, dude, I, if I, 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 yeah, anyone, I don't anyone think, under fucking 25 is never going to say no to get jerked off. I only think it would have been weird if that was like his grandma's favorite movie, but there's not any correlation other <laughs> than the date, right? Yeah. Yeah. Jerk me off to Brother Bear right now. Put it on. Gabe, dim the lights. Yeah, I think Gabe, I got to say, the last show in Denver, they were very rowdy. And at one point, somebody yelled out, where's Gabe? Multiple people said, where's Gabe? <laughs> And I'm like, guys, I don't. <laughs> he's in Los Feliz eating rice. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know yeah. what he's doing. That's that makes me feel him. good. I fucking should have. Yeah. That would be so funny. But who knows? Um, Gabe steals the show with his hot eyes. God, he's so hot. I want to get jerked off to Brother Bear. Have you <laughs> well, ever, I'll leave the room. You guys can figure it out. Literally, how many times have you said no to, to a sexual encounter in your life? Like, I mean, I'm talking about like 10 at the most. Yeah, I think that's it. Some girl, I mean, I she jerked off the shin of the list. I don't give a fuck. But do you mean like when she's like in the room or like a girl's DM'd you and be like, you want to meet up? And no, like, and she's like in the room and she's yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I, don't I, mean, know if that's ever I mean, buddy, never. Yeah. I'd it's like be, walking past uh, a chicken sample at the mall and saying no. Can't. Even Every if, time. Even if you're full as fuck. I'll be like, I'm vegan. The guy's like, it's chick pop. Wow. You need it. I'm like, yeah, I do need this. God. Well, guys. Another episode in the freaking books. In the books. We covered a lot this episode. Cover a lot. Cover a lot to come. Yeah. Two-tone cock. High school memories. Jerking off with 
multiple layers of jackets on. Or no, having sex with the... Yeah. Yeah. Having sex with so many jackets on. Yeah. The She's denim great. dick two-tone turbo man. <laughs> I think that's it. That's your new Instagram handle. That's it. I got to switch it up. Yep, you have to. But what's that bear movie? Brother Man? Brother Bear. Brother Bear getting jerked off with Brother Bear. All right, guys. That's it. We love you. Holy shit. Till next Wednesday, friend reminder, we have a mother effing Patreon. When we hit 8,000 patrons, Gabe is going to get a Yoris tattoo. So get on that shit. Go to patreon.com backslash stiff socks pod for four extra episodes a month. Ad free drops every Friday. Access to the Discord. Guys, do it. We love you. And uh, yeah, man, till next time, big kiss, big hug. Get jerked off with a two-tone cockiness. <laughs> Bye.